Hey there, here with another uh, visual routing guide. Uh, if you haven't seen episode one, what we're doing is uh, going over a beginner weekly uh, seed. So beginner tricks, vanilla start, vanilla elevators. And we're gonna be walking through and describing uh, some routing decisions from someone who's played this game a lot. And uh, hopefully give uh, new runners a little bit of insight on what's going on in our minds with routing and trying to play fast. Uh, so like I said, we will be starting a landing site. Uh, I've got, uh, where's my color here? There we go. And uh, we got pink. So uh, to follow along, we're starting at landing site. And like I mentioned in the first episode, uh, there's only two locations open off the start alcove and hive totem with these settings so every seed is going to start with space jump first we're going to head to alcove and find our morph ball having morph early is nice that kind of means we're going to delay probably our uh, warp to start uh, from chozo that's fine as we leave uh, we drop down and we find morph ball bombs which is excellent and that'll definitely help us push farther into Chozo. Uh, so with that, we're gonna take that through Talon Canyon and into Chozo. We don't have missiles yet, so can't do anything else here. As we head into Main Plaza, we get greeted by a cutscene, which is gonna reveal a uh, various suit on the grapple ledge. We also have Ice Beam in the half pipe. Uh, so both of those are probably gonna be Unlocked with space jump, and uh, can't see what's in the tree, so we're gonna push forwards. Uh, we can see that there's an expansion or something up on vault ledge. And we take this into ruined nursery and peek the item. We see space jump. We've got bombs and morph, so we're definitely going to be taking that. And from here. We've got a couple options. Um, we can head back for Varia and Ice and possibly whatever this is. We can also uh, push in a little bit farther and hope that we find a missile expansion on the way because we're still missing missiles. Uh, there's two checks we can get. So there's a fairly good chance um, given the amount of expansions in the pool. So I would probably try to push on um, Unfortunately, when we're, we're going through, we find a uh, an artifact. <laughs> Unfortunately, I say in quotes. Um, we are hoping for missiles, but artifact is nice too. Uh, so we're going to continue on. And for routing sake, let's see once we uh, get the hive totem item, it is a missile. Uh, if not, there's a good chance that uh, this was a missile and we can come in through the other way. So, either way, we're probably not leaving too much on the table. Uh, we check transport access north. And seeing that it is uh, nothing, what I would probably do here is head back. Uh, we can check vault later. Uh, we don't want to leave uh, this lower rune gallery item. So we're going to come back and grab this, take our path all the way back out to main plaza. And from here is when we can uh, hop up, grab this expansion, head into vault and peek this, see that it's nothing, and turn around. Uh, so back in main plaza, we're going to scoop up our ice beam, jump on the tree, peek what's in the tree, see that it's nothing important, and grab our Varia suit. So getting loaded up pretty well, and it should be noted that although we've got missiles, or we're assuming we've got missiles, uh, we don't have our logical launcher yet. So just something to keep in mind that um, any missile checks are actually not logical yet. Taking a second to find Varia on the tracker, there we go. Now from here, uh, it's probably safe to push into uh, Ruined Shrine first. There's three checks here, 
and uh, early expansions are still good. You, we want some E-Tanks, we might stumble across a power bomb, uh, but we're probably going to assume that we uh, are going to get power bombs at mains. <laughs> we can we can imagine we might find a missile early, but um, power bombs will we won't take that assumption. So we're going to grab uh, some items here. We don't have wave beam yet, so we have to head back out, climb up the tree, and we're going to push farther into Chozo. Take a peek at uh, Rune Fountain on our way past through Arboretum. Uh, now at this stage we have Space Jump. I would definitely recommend uh, climbing Gathering Hall first in case Spider Ball is here on this item. Uh, it's not, so we're just going to push in uh, to Gathering Hall. Or not Gathering Hall, Watery Hall. Pick up some expansions on the way. Grab some, uh, grab all the scans and nothing here. Before we head into Dynamo, we'll peek this item uh, in case again it's Spider Ball. It's not, so we'll just be grabbing the lower Dynamo item. Uh, from here, we're gonna backtrack, climb the room again, and head to Burn Dome. Fight the incinerator drone, grab another artifact. So that is two artifacts for us. We've got Burn Dome and Rune Gallery. All right, so from here we can backtrack out, do the energy core puzzle, and we're going to do the uh, spider uh, standable climb to peak what's in upper furnace and we see that's gravity suit uh, so we know that spider is not going to be in things like gravity chamber it's not gonna be in frigate uh, it could be in cargo freight like I guess um, but uh, now we know where gravity suit is not really the best information but it is information and we're gonna turn around uh, actually we oh Right, we have Ice Beam, so uh, we're actually going to uh, have grabbed uh, the lower item first, and then we're going to go back out, because we're going to push into um, into Hall of the Elders. So coming in here, we can do uh, the singular check after the ghost fight. It's nothing, and when we check Crossway, we find our Phazon suit. Uh, we got space jump, so we can climb the room and grab that. So we don't even have our artifact hints yet, but we've got phase on suit. Love to see it. Uh, it's at this point where we've got a backtrack, and we haven't found wave beam yet. So unless you know uh, complex bomb jumps, you're not going to be getting to reflecting pool. So we are going to take quite a dip back. And at Gathering Hall, uh, we've got two options. We can take the save warp or we can go to Sun Chamber. Uh, if you're comfortable with early wilds, uh, there's a chance uh, that you go that way. Uh, it's just kind of rough leaving um, the ghost fight uh, till later. Uh, pretend you can't see this though. Uh, so if it was me, is it's two fairly slow checks, especially if you're doing early wild. So I'd probably take the save warp here. Uh, from back at landing site, uh, we're going to check artifact hints right away. And at artifact temple is actually our x-ray visor. And that kind of makes me think about... Um, Anti-chamber and especially Great Tree Chamber, which uh, Great Tree Chamber is locked uh, by X-Ray. Uh, and we also have our remaining artifact hints. We've got Tower of Light, uh, Research Core, Arbor Chamber, and Central Dynamo. Uh, so, kind of spread out, uh, Tower of Light we'll have to come back for once we find Wave Beam. 
We've got a few in Fen. Yeah, so not so bad. Uh, but with X-Ray, like I said, we're going to want to probably take this uh, back through Frigate Crash Site. We can pick up this item. Climb the room. Uh, this climb is in Logic with Space Jump. Grab over Room Cavern. Head into Chozo again. Head into Reflecting Pool. And we find a Thermal Visor. Not immediately useful, but nice to have. We're now f having uh, all of our visors. Uh, one thing you could also do at this point is... Um, it's probably not as powerful since we've um, checked a lot of this area already. Is uh, You can scan this gate and open it up. Uh, helps for routing later so you don't have to do the uh, wave um, the wave part of the puzzle uh, but there's probably a good chance we're not coming back here for gravity uh, or whatever is in elder chamber uh, but the option exists and it's not too slow uh, but we're going to again uh, follow the path of x-ray and head towards uh, great tree chamber And we correctly followed a path, and we find power bombs. So from here, uh, we've got um, life groves nearby, but we don't have boost. So unless you're comfortable with the advanced bomb jumps, probably not going to do it. And we know boost can't be back there, so I'm not too concerned as of right now. Uh, and then you could do bar skip, but you can't go into mines without uh, wave beam. And your other only other option is backwards uh, frigate, which actually you can't do because you don't have gravity suit or uh, boost to get past hat. So we're going backwards, heading up, and we're going to take a save warp in uh, Jozo. So back at landing site. Head through Talon Canyon, and this time we're going to go to Root Cave. Uh, you got to do the Root Cave dash, since we don't have grapple yet. Climb the room. We've got X-Ray, so we get part of the puzzle at least. And here you'll have to do Arbor Chamber Wall Crawl, which uh, baby's first wall crawl. You should learn this for competitive sake. And we get our third artifact. Uh, as we head down... Uh, we get transport tunnel B, which is our logical missiles. Uh, so thinking about that, it means that we were supposed to take Varia in through uh, Lava Lake, come all the way through Magmore, and come up uh, the Fiery Shores elevator to get these missiles, because since there's a missile lock here, that was our logical path to missiles. So it uh, doesn't affect our routing too much, but it is interesting to know that that's where that was. And we head in uh, to Magmore. Don't have waves, so we'll not have to worry about going to uh, the far reaches of Magmore yet. But we're going to see Fiery Shores. Pick it up if it's a expansion you need. Uh, we got Space Jump, so it's pretty quick. Otherwise, we're going to push through. And uh, we get to peak Shore Tunnel here. And uh, from Monitor Station, we have a split path. Uh, we don't want to leave uh, early Magmore open, uh, so we're going to push through Triclops Pit, uh, drop down, grab Storage Cavern, loop back, and we're going to grab Lava Lake. And so now most of early Magmore is done. On our return trip, uh, we're going to climb Monitor Station. Uh, which leads us here uh, to Warrior Shrine. Grab the item. We have power bombs, so we can also grab Upper Fiery Shores. And it loops us back around again to Monitor Station. Uh, so we'll be doing the climb. Grab Transport Tunnel A. And we enter Fendrana for the first time. Follow our fun little line there. 
as we head through, uh, we get the cutscene. We can see what's in the uh, tower. Don't know why the map shows it over here, but what's in the lighthouse. And uh, the routing I like to take for this. Actually, uh, we can't get anything over here. So what's probably going to happen is uh, we head to Chapel of the Elders first. Uh, if we had Plasma or Spider Ball, I'd be more inclined to do Ice Runes East. Uh, but we'll do that after. Uh, we climb up. We don't have supers to do the peak. I believe you can use Ice Spreader uh, and possibly Wave or Buster or Flamethrower, but I'm not confident in that. Um, so we don't know what's behind Chozo Ice. And looking into Chapel of the Elders, we see a vanilla wave beam. Uh, point of no returns, uh, like the beam rooms, are fairly common uh, vanilla locations. Uh, so wave beam can show up here uh, fairly often. Uh, so we got power bombs to do the uh, Mama Shigath quickly. And we pick up our wave beam. That's great, because that's going to allow us to push through uh, Fen pretty hard. Uh, we're going to hop over uh, from here, make our way over to Ice Ruins East, peek this item, see that it's nothing. Uh, we can use Space Jump to peek this item, see that it's nothing. And we can start heading uh, farther into uh, Fendrana. Uh, we follow our normal route uh, through Ice Runes West, which is to do the lower path first. This avoids climbing the room twice. Take a look uh, at Canyon. Turn around if you don't need it. Then we get to climb this room. Peak Ice Runes West uh, behind the ice. Nothing again. So we get to continue on to Courtyard. Grab the Courtyard item. Continue your climb. And uh, we don't have supers yet, so we don't even have to think about this path right now. Uh, so we're going to continue to push on through labs. Do the various fights. Uh, again, we don't have uh, super missiles, but if you learn the peak, uh, you just with Morph Wall, you can peak this item. See that it's nothing. And actually, we have X-Ray, so don't even have to worry about that. We can just look through the canister. It's nothing. Climb up Observatory, and we don't have to worry about taking a pivot save here uh, because we have ice and we can just uh, go straight through. Uh, so that actually brings us up here. Uh, do the fight skip. Uh, grab this item and continue down. And we're almost at the end of the labs. We get our boost ball. And we also get our grapple beam. Continuing through, uh, we get our artifact in Research Core. Uh, finding boost ball here is nice just for general movement as well as uh, we're probably going to do Far Fen next, which gets helps us uh, through some of these. Uh, passageways. Um, logically, not doing a whole lot for us. Maybe Life Grove, but I'm, we're so far away, so not going to bother with that. Uh, we push through. We take the top route towards Frost Cave. See that it's nothing. Here's where Boost really shows off. There's this little tunnel. Favorite room of the game, Upper Edge Tunnel. Um... Then we're going to climb the room. And we don't have uh, plasma yet, so we can't find uh, what's in storage cave. Security cave, we drop down, uh, use boost. And uh, remember, gravity suit is like, we know where gravity suit is, but uh, hopefully you've practiced some of your gravityless movement. Uh, dash across here, we take the upper path, because it's fast. Uh, nothing in the top of gravity chamber, but there is a super missile uh, on uh, vanilla gravity. 
Uh, hopefully you've practiced your escape. It's not too hard. Uh, there's videos out there to show you how to escape here with gravity, but uh, this should be something, uh, if you're wanting to be competitive, you should be comfortable with. And grav uh, super missiles is something uh, we will want. There's a few checks that uh, require it. We've already knocked one off in uh, Research Lab Hydra, but uh, for a pretty quick grab, uh, we're gonna drop down and again, practice this escape because it is nice to have you don't want to have to go all the way back to uh far chozo to grab grab <laughs> we don't even have spider ball yet so um i mean you can grab it without spider ball but odds are that you're probably going to get more comfortable with the gravity list escape here than uh, furnace without spider ball turn around and we're going to make our way back Climb Frozen Pike, get act, uh, a view of transport access, nothing. And from here, uh, we've got Grapple Beam, so it's pretty safe uh, to go check Quarantine Monitor, nothing. Don't want to do this fight though. Uh, we do have Power Bombs, we do have Thermal. Uh, it is in Logic, but it's slow for one check. So we're just going to push on and uh, suffer if it is anything. Uh, at Magmar Caverns South, uh, we take that elevator, brings us back into Magmar. And at Workstation, uh, we get to check this item. And we're also going to head into Geothermal Core and do the puzzle and check for Vanilla Plasma. Uh, no spider ball, so you'll have to do the spider skip, and you should be doing that anyways. <laughs> Uh, but we see it's nothing, so we're actually going to head back through Workstation, and we're going to actually enter Mines now. Uh, we've still got one artifact in Mines, which is uh, Essential Dynamo, which would be nice to route in pretty soon, and maybe we find Plasma on the way. Uh, as we head down... Check PPC. Uh, you can't drop down to PCA because we don't have um, plasma, and really, there's nothing that's gonna be here anyway, so it doesn't doesn't matter. We've already got phase on suit. Uh, we're just looking for plasma beam, which we know it can't be. Uh, and that's an important thing to note too. Uh, we've got central dynamo and tower of light, and plasma beam is like basically our go mode. Um, so that's spider spider ball. We're Hopefully just going to be able to skip, and that'll uh, affect our routing as uh, we move forwards here. Uh, we take Maintenance Tunnel uh, to Elite Control. Uh, if you're comfortable with the Trooper Skip, you can, but we've got to come back anyways, so might just be worth to not fuss about with the Trooper Skip uh, and just do the fight. Uh, we head up to Elite Control Access, see it's nothing, and we're going to turn around because uh, odds are if you're just learning to route, you're probably not comfortable with spiderless shafts, and uh, yeah, that's going to be a major roadblock for us right now. So we're going to turn around, and we're going to hop down Vent Shaft, and it's our Plasma Beam. That is an amazing find. We are now in go mode. We just have to go fast now. So this is when you stop doing checks. Uh, you're just going to rush uh, through Omega Research. Kill the pirate here. Uh, Got to do the Central Dynamo fight and grab the artifact. So this is artifact number five. And once you grab the item, you can save warp out. And we find ourselves back at landing site. Our last artifact is Tower of Light, so we're going to rush through Talon Canyon, head into Chozo, Three Main Plaza, and Ruin Shrine. We're going to climb Tower of Light and get our last artifact. And we make our way back out, and... I don't know what's faster, honestly, at this point. Um, this is 
is a timing thing that uh, someone else can do. But uh, you got two options. You can go to save station one here and take a save warp, or you can just go back down, take the elevator. Both are probably about the same time. Uh, take a refill if you need it to get your ammunition back for the final fights. Head back into Artifact Temple, fight Ridley, enter Impact Crater, beat the game. And that is the seed. Uh, looking at uh, the tracker, the only things we missed uh, of importance are Spider and Gravity. Gravity, we knew where it was. It's locked behind Spider in Upper Furnace. And our Spider Ball was on Flagra. So this is a really unfortunate situation where... We don't want to do Flagra until we have Spider Ball, but Flagra has Spider Ball. <laughs> so uh, this happens sometimes, and it's why early wilds can be strong if you want to do an early Flagra and just clean this out, especially if you know there's an artifact here. Um, but yeah, missing the Spider Ball didn't hurt us in this seed, but there is a chance that, like, uh, Ice Ruins East Spider Track or Ruin Fountain could have been something important and we would have needed to find this. And given the access uh, we had to the game, uh, there's a few things that we could cross off the list uh, with gravity being here, but realistically there's still a lot of the game open and it's all kind of spread out. Uh, worst case, Spider could be probably Upper Mines and that would make you have to go all around. So, yep, good thing it uh, worked out in our favor this time. Didn't get rando today. Awesome. Okay, with that, I will enter here. We will see you next mission. Cheers.